Are you on the keto diet for PCOS or to try to lose weight? You might be increasing your risk of your baby being born with spina bifida. I'll discuss the latest research coming up. Hey everybody, Dr. Wes Davis. I make weekly videos on YouTube presenting you with the best available evidence-based information to give you the best possible outcome for you and your baby. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Low-carb diets like the keto diet have become very popular lately. All you need to do is hashtag search on Twitter or Instagram. You will find hundreds if not thousands of posts of people who are showing their before and after and the weight they lost and a lot of people even who are now showing their baby. There's plenty of evidence that weight loss and PCOS improves your fertility and increases your chances of getting pregnant. However, there's one thing that sometimes people overlook and that is that if you're restricting your diet, avoiding one entire class of foods, you may become deficient in certain vitamins or micronutrients. And in the US, since 1998, we have been supplementing the grains with folate, which is a B vitamin. There's been about a 30% reduction in the incidence of spina bifida since that time. 1,300 babies a year have been protected by this fortification. Most people know you should take a prenatal vitamin if you're trying to get pregnant, but one thing you might not know is that if you're restricting your diet, you're not getting any supplemental folate. 400 micrograms of folic acid is what's in an over-the-counter prenatal vitamin. That might not be enough. We don't know yet. There's more studies to come. In the meantime, I'd recommend take at least 1,000 micrograms every day of folic acid in the months or even in the year before you start trying to conceive if you're on a keto type diet. That way you will minimize the chance of having a folate deficiency which could lead to a spinal cord defect in your baby. A recent study in the US showed that in moms who were on a low carb diet in the months prior to conception had about a 40% higher risk of having a baby born with a spinal cord defect. In the moms who had unintentional pregnancies, so they weren't planning on getting pregnant, the risk actually went up by 90%. Now, like any study of this nature, there are definitely limitations. We don't know all the answers. There are more studies to come. This is not a definite proof, but it's a strong association, and it's a simple thing. There's just no harm in taking extra folic acid in the months leading up to you getting pregnant. Not all neural tube defects are preventable by folic acid. There's definitely more than one cause for this. If you're on other medications, especially like anti-seizure medicine or mood stabilizers, talk to your doctor before you start trying to conceive, as these medications do increase the risk. I will put a link in the description to the original study so you can read it for yourself. I'd love to read what you think in the comments below the video. Please also tell me your stories. Have you had good luck with keto? Have you lost some weight? Have you gotten pregnant? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.